In this video, we're going to be taking a look at assembling the upright storage rack. No tools are required for assembly, but a clean, dry cloth is necessary. Begin by using your dry cloth to wipe down the inside angle of both part 9 L brackets. These parts are identical, so they can be used interchangeably. Next, we're going to peel the backing off of the rubber adhesive strips. We're going to apply these to either side of the square hole on the L bracket. About an inch away from the square hole on both sides, we're going to repeat this process with both part 9 L brackets. Next, grab part one, which is the static support noted by this dome shape on top, and install the window of one of the L brackets over the catch in the center of the static support. Ensure that the square holes are aligned so that a carriage bolt can be inserted through both pieces as shown. Make sure the carriage bolt is inserted all the way through both pieces and sits flush against the part nine L bracket. Capture this with a flat washer, a lock washer, and tighten down a wing nut over the top of both. Next, identify part four and part five, the sliding support and the sliding block. Insert part four through part five as shown. Make sure that these pieces are snapped firmly together. Identify the hole on the back of the sliding block and insert part seven, the cam lock, all the way through. Make sure a small portion of the cam lock is sticking out of the front of the block. Repeat step one and install the L bracket onto the sliding support. On the main rail, part six, identify the notched end. This end is where the static support will attach. The static support is noted by the dome shaped top. Align the grooves of the static support to the main rail and using force, Insert the static support onto the main rail. The opposite end of the main rail will accept the sliding block. It's crucial to note the cam lock's orientation. If it is in the wrong orientation, the sliding block will not install onto the main rail. It should be parallel or aligned with the sliding support, part four. Identify the grooves on either side of the sliding block that will be inserted onto the main rail. Align the grooves to the rail and using force, insert the sliding block onto the main rail. Rotate the cam lock into the locked position and ensure that the two installation holes identified here are accessible. Next, identify the plastic loop on the static support and install one side of the spring onto this loop. Do not attach the other end of the spring as that will be done after installation. If this rack is to be installed in a series of racks, attach the connector bracket as shown. This rack is now ready for installation.